Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Correct Me If I'm Wrong, where we're the number one podcast in the world. Podcast? World? Podcast. <laughs> typecast. 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 Tide pods? Tide pods. Tide pods. <laughs> we sell the number one Tide pods today, sponsor, by the way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ongoing joke. <laughs> just go with every single time. <laughs> we have a lot of sponsors, though. <laughs> All right. So today's topic of the day. Why do you guys think there's a stigma around when someone gets into a relationship and their friendships change? We'll start this one with Nene. <laughs> so, I think... I am going to say that it kind of actually does. I think it has to because I I think if you're always spending time with your friend, um, eventually you spend time with your girlfriend alone. So you still could hang out with your buddy. So you're hoping that the girl will vibe with all your people so y'all can hang out. But I do feel that the guys end up not hanging out as much as you did. But I think it happens both ways, female and male. So even for a female, it could be the same way. She can stop hanging out with her friends as much. As soon as they break up, guess what? Your friends are right there back for you. That's what girls do. I'm sure that's what guys do too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not what guys do. You leave the circle, you're out of the circle. Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> All right. What about you, Dev? So Dev. Were you, Dev. Dev. Were you Dev. talking about... The- <laughs> Are you talking about the friendship changes? Yeah, like, so uh, your your friend gets into a relationship, and now y'all's friendship changes. Do you think that's true? I think it definitely does change. I think it, def- it does change once they're uh, in a relationship, because uh, they're on their, their, they have to act differently when they're with their girlfriends, oh, yeah. right? Because, like everyone, like y'all said, you have to be on your Best behavior when you're first in a relationship. My correct first day, and right. so whenever you're hanging out with your friend, you kind of be y- y'all make those jokes with each other, and you the the guy in the relationship's like, dude, that's not funny, All right? <laughs> like it's not that's funny. Like what are you doing? But inside you're kind of joking a little bit, like you're laughing, but <laughs> <laughs> but that, and then uh, you're used to doing that. Ev- <laughs> you're used to doing everything. Like I, I had a buddy in high school. Like any time that he was in a relationship, was like oh, we're we're never gonna see him. It's, it's okay. It's all good. He's you know. But we talk to him sometimes. But it it definitely does change. Not for the worse. It's just you kind you kind of miss the person. But eventually, if that doesn't. It does it last? They eventually do come back, so they're not out of the circle forever. No, they're out of the circle forever. Ever. Band, we <laughs> hang a band sign up next to their picture. You can submit a request for approval <laughs> <laughs> once a year. Uh, what do you think, Mesa? Um, oh, so... sorry, Mesa Lou. Sorry about that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> Hate you, <laughs> <laughs> and the truth comes out. Oh, no. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna disagree a little bit because I don't okay. think it has to change, and I think most of the time it does change, but I don't think it has to. Um, and I think that there are relationships where, um, like Naomi said, that the other your significant other can kind of vibe with your friends and get along and still act the same way as your friends, and everybody can all get together and be friends as a group. And at that point, you can start doing more group gatherings opposed to uh, just you and your friend hanging out and just your girl, you and your girlfriend hanging out. Now, obviously, you're going to spend time with both of them individually, right? Uh, but I think that if everyone gets along and everyone vibes is cool, uh, you can spend time together, and that way, it's a win-win for everybody. Um, so I don't, I don't think it has to necessarily change, but a lot of the times it does because maybe those people don't vibe real well. And maybe it's just like in the beginning... The person will act different because we always say like when Devin, Devin meets Devin, meets, <laughs> when Devin, Devin. Meets, when Devin meets the one girl that he's gonna be around, right? We, we're like he's gonna be so different. Uh, he's but, not gonna want to hang out with us anymore. <laughs> is what we're trying to say. <laughs> but eventually, I feel like um, if she vibes well and she's cool, um, I feel like he can be himself. He'll end up being himself. It's going to be great is when Devin actually is in a relationship and we can replay this episode. <laughs> It'll be like, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, you can't get back in our friendship. Uh-huh, yeah, we deleted you out of the circle. <laughs> but, <laughs> we already replaced you in the podcast. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I could see where um, she's probably going to be very dominant. So whenever it's, she's, she gives him the look like, it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> now I really don't want to listen to this episode. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh yeah! She's like they knew. <laughs> they knew. Yeah. They pinned me perfectly. <laughs> She's gonna look at him like, 
It's time. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. See y'all later. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I've had I've had a girlfriend where she was very good friends with my friends um, in high school, and like they would even hang out sometimes without like they would be like, "Oh, we're hanging out." I'd be like, come over. I'd be like, "Oh, shoot! Like, thanks for calling me." Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't think it necessarily has to change, but I, I think that most of the time it does just because it's fresh, it's new. And, and like you said, sometimes people don't vibe real well and, and you can't bring those, you can't force a, a friendship at that point. So, and what I, what I really mean is kind of like that too, but also they're hanging out with that person all the time. So it's different as in you don't get to hang out with your buddy every single day. You can still have those conversations, but it's kind of different, you know, that, that, that's what kind of what I meant. Yeah, and I think, you know, it is more difficult, but I still think it's possible to make time for your friends. You know what I mean? Like, it's it definitely makes it more difficult, but you can, as long as you set expectations for both your friends and the girlfriend. Hey, this is, I'm going to spend X amount of time here, you know, or with you. Um, just kind of set those expectations ahead of time, I guess, would be a good way to explain that. Yeah. It'll kind of make the relationship a little bit better once you have that. And once you see, you know, your friend and your girlfriend just, you know, Vibing a little bit. So, oh yeah, we can like definitely hang out. Yeah, still be like that. Okay, vibing, vibing. We've been vibing doing a lot of good work, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're moving up your vocabulary there. Proud of you. I'm trying. <laughs> She's eventually gonna listen to this episode, so I need to. <laughs> like, you were using vibing back then, David. <laughs> Lame. Uh, I mean, no, nah, I, I agree with you guys. Like, I I do think most of the time it changes, but it's like um, as long as there, I guess there's effort. Right, because I feel like what happens a lot of times is is a guy goes into his own like bubble, right, and yep. he's he just kind of forgets about his friends, right? Like, like I, you know, I I, I had a friend one time. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, we'd hang, we'd like get online and play Call of Duty every single night, and you know, he has a girlfriend now, and I haven't, you know, he's won once on, <laughs> <laughs> once every other month. I wonder who that is. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but anyways, but I guess there's, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you're happy, that's what you got to do. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm not going to hold that against you. It is what it is. And like you said, like, if he does call and answer it and, you know, be like, whatever, dude. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, nah, like, so as long as you're happy, I guess, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Because it's important to you. So, like, if your your friendships are important to you to still keep close as, as you're kind of getting older and as, as time is passing, then I think you will make sure that happens, right? Because it's easy as, hey, man, we're going to go eat out tonight. You want to go with us? Or yep. hey, you want to hang out? So it's just small stuff like that. So I think it comes from that person, like what's important to them. Like yeah. um, they have this girl and the, the, the love is blossoming. And at the same time, they want to keep all their friendships around. Or some people are like, hey, like, you know, have this girl and like we're happy. And uh, you're still my friend. You're still, we're, you're still my homie. But like this is like <laughs> what I, I'm leaning to more yeah. in life. So I think that's why it happens. It's just because people's mindset goes from like, oh, hell, I want to hang out with all these people. To like this is what I'm kind of looking at. What so. I think too, and I think it's a it it's healthy for relationship to spend time away from each other. Yeah. Too like the couples that are like always together, always doing stuff. Like they're attached to each other's hips. A lot of times those don't last or work out because right. they come they become so codependent that like whenever they're away from each other, it's like <laughs> oh my god, like who am I? What am I doing? Like I don't right. know what to do with my life. So I think if you set aside time for your friends, it's it's not just healthy for you, it's healthy for the relationship as well, and also for your friendship. You got to give a chance to miss each other. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about your girlfriend or your friends, but either way, <laughs> either, either way, we took it to heart. It's probably like either that way. for both. Like, it's good for you to miss your friend and your boyfriend. Yeah, and, and like, like I said, it does balance. come from like what's important to you. Because I do think you can make an effort to, you yeah. know, kind of hang out with both. Because I think that's what happens. Is the person, it's not like you're intentionally trying to leave your friends out, but I think you start doing it so your friends start, because like, like me... Uh, I get if if I'm if I feel like I'm the only person ever trying to make plans, I start to kind of go into my bubble and be like, uh, okay, and then I'll just start to seclude myself because like it's just weird to me. I feel like I'm forcing people to hang out with me. Right. So I yeah. feel like when people are in relationships and they don't like think to like be like, oh hey, let me invite this person, and but their friend feels the same way, and they're like, oh, I feel like all I'm doing is you know I'm just like perp like you know forcing myself to be your friend. That's when the kind of the tear breaks apart. You know? What yeah. I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. I think that that and that's fair for most people. Like, if you feel like you're the only one putting any effort to hang out, and like the other person's like, "Oh, I can't. I'm with so and so," or "I can't because we're doing this." Like, it's like, uh, like no offense, <laughs> but can I come too? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, am I still important? <laughs> or like, or like those guys, those guys that are in relationships, right? Those think, guys, those guys, those guys, those guys that are in relationships, um, and uh, they they'll like come up to you the next day. 
And then we like, bro, like me and my girlfriend, we were playing board games with all her friends, and it was so oh, much fun. Yeah, and and you're like, just like, oh, what? A, like, uh, was it fun? <laughs> you're lucky. Yeah, like, I, was, I was playing board games I yesterday. Nothing. I ate a whole pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep a straight face, but you're just crying. Oh, uh, you're like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I definitely think that kind of happened. So, yeah. I think we've all kind of experienced it at one point. It sounds like, uh, <laughs> yes. yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, people, no. uh, you know, you grow apart, I guess, and it is what it. No, Nate? yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you experienced that with? Okay, so I'm coming from the female side. We've heard from oh, the yeah, man side. True. Like we've all kind of experienced that from our bros, you know. Yeah. Have you experienced that with your? I don't know what you guys call each other, chicas. <laughs> <laughs> that was spot on. <laughs> uh, I, I think it works the same way. Yeah, it happens. The same thing happens. Um. I feel like um, girls do the same thing. I think it's a little bit different with girls because for some reason, like when girls get together, so like a group of girls, they normally won't bring their guy around because the guy doesn't want to because he feels awkward because of girl talk. They don't really get into it as much. Um, So they normally don't bring the guys. I think it's a stigma. I, I could see that because what's funny is like I won't like, I, <laughs> like yeah. if I have a girlfriend she's like hey I'm getting together with all my girlfriends you ready and I'm like yeah <coughs> <laughs> I got sick <laughs> yeah. so yeah no I could see that for sure like, or you're like well who's who's going yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think too like if if the girls were like oh yeah like well you know they're inviting their boyfriends too or whatever then you're like oh, okay like I have right. someone to talk to like then they will then the guy will sometimes. Yeah, and it depends. I think you give it a shot, right? And then you kind of see how boyfriends are. And if the boyfriends are cool, you're like, oh, okay, cool, that'd be cool. But if they're like awkward, and you're like, because I've been around, I'm like, that dude's awkward. I don't know. I'm talking to <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like you're a pretty social person, so if you find that person awkward, yeah, it's like, like oh, you can't talk weird. <laughs> that person's super awkward. Uh, Whoever so, you are out there, <laughs> how dare you? Weirded them out. <laughs> yeah, because like, yeah, because remember we went to. Um, we went to go play board games okay. with one of my friends. I think. Interesting. <laughs> Awkward. I'm just kidding. No, I remember oh. now. Oh, okay. You remember? Yes. I do remember. Okay. We just winked at each other. We got it. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we went to go play board games with him, and uh, he had all his his girlfriend's friends there, uh-huh. right? And it was, so it was just me, Mesa, I think Sam, Sam was, was with there. us. Uh-huh. And what in a room full of people like we really didn't know. It, it felt like a middle school dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were like, yay. There yeah. was a group on one side and uh-huh. another group on the other. Like But like we did a good job at like being the only <laughs> social ones. We made some course into the circle like <laughs> Yep. <laughs> right. So yeah, it, it comes down to you two making that effort. But I do fe- I do feel like a guy doesn't really hang out with the girls' friends a lot as much as the girl would hang out with the guys' friends a lot. And I think you could you could, um, yeah. You could. It would. It's just gonna take some effort, and I think girls are better at that. I think girls, girls are just yeah, like girls more are open. Like, yeah, they're just like <laughs> yeah, they adapt better. Like they they have better conversations. Like they'll they'll lie about knowing stuff, or like they'll just like, like not, oh yeah, like I've seen that. And like happy though, like. <laughs> We're like us, and we're like I don't know what I shout to you. How dare he say that? All right, guys. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a single guy. I've been a single guy for a while, and usually when I go out and about with a group of friends, a lot of them are you know are couples. They're there with their significant others, if when you want to say. And sometimes it could be a little bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it could be a little bit awkward. It's not like I'm just gonna leave the party. I'm gonna leave the group. But it could be a little bit awkward because. Uh, you, you you see sometimes they're like lovey dovey. It's like oh good job, you know, I'm proud of you. Give a hug and all that stuff. I'm like oh, <laughs> I'm proud of you. What are you going to like? Like good job, you know, good you know, job. What I mean? you, know I you. you know, you know, like good job, babe. Good job, good job, babe. You know, uh, so yeah, it could be just a little bit awkward, but not to the point where I'm just gonna be like forget this. You know, it's a little awkward because you know. I kind of want that someday, you know? <laughs> and it's just kind of like, then and, then, and then, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, Devin, who's your partner? She's like, I don't got a partner. Aww. Yeah, I'm getting really, really <laughs> Who is Who's a straight up asset to you? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of party have you been at? And they're like, who's your partner? <laughs> like, I, don't really well known. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, but how do y'all feel? Have you ever been in that situation? Um, I have, but... Um... Nay, that was Nay talking? 
I have, <laughs> but well, I'm the only girl. <laughs> <laughs> so is it different whenever, do you think it's different whenever you're a girl? Like, no. have you ever felt that way? Have you ever no, felt like excluded? And I, maybe it's because I'm female. Girls tend to, I don't feel like, that way. I like how Devin's like, is it because you're a girl? No, it's because I'm female. <laughs> <laughs> Use a proper term, Devin. <laughs> so, gosh. so I think for females, no, I never felt like that because even when I was single and I know my friends were coupled up, the girls tend to, and I guess it's mostly because I like to go dancing. So we would go dancing. So they leave the guy sitting down and then we'll go dance. So I never felt awkward. Oh yeah, I don't dance That's, right that's now. a girl thing. That, yeah. I'm just so I don't chilling. know how it is for the guys. So, actually, sorry. And I actually liked it that way because um, I like it that way because they see more guys around, so you don't get bothered as much if you don't want to be bothered by other strangers. So it's a good thing mm, for a girl. So you get hit on less. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Having <an> entourage. <laughs> you see those guys? <laughs> They're all with me. They're all mine. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I think it depends on, I guess, who exactly it is. I don't know if I've ever been in that situation where I've felt awkward. Now, I'm not saying it, it, it can't happen because I can see where it would be awkward. But I, I guess it would be more awkward if I'm with a couple that's just like, you know, their PDA is just crazy. And they're yeah, just, they're yeah. just PDAing off the chain. And you're just like, this is, you really have to kiss at the dinner table? Like, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. Like, uh, so uh, I do think when it's stuff like that, that it could get a little awkward. Uh, but I personally don't think I've ever been in a situation like that. But I can definitely see it. But I do think like it's because like I'm I'm not a PDA guy. Like you you'll hardly ever see mm-hmm. me. I don't even know what the acronym PDA stands for except for Patrick Daniel and <laughs> others. <laughs> Public display of affection. Just, I was obviously <laughs> kidding. I was that like, how are you thing. having trouble with that? <laughs> Who didn't teach you this? <laughs> we don't joke around on this podcast. So. <laughs> I was just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, so like I always feel like when, because uh, I had a friend of mine that I went on a trip with, and uh, I felt like he thought it was gonna be awkward, and I I thought like why? Like it's not like uh, I'm like over here like making out with anybody. Like we're just hanging out. Like you know it's three homies hanging out, having fun, laughing. So it's like to me like you don't get a different me than you would get if like I was just by myself. Right? right? Like we'd be the same person. So yeah. What about you, Mesa Lou? The love guru. Um, so I have felt like that in the past sometimes, but again, it, it, it all comes down to the, it, it all comes down to the people making an effort of making you feel involved in the conversation, involved in what's going on. Yeah. Um, if they're like in just involved in their own little thing and you're just yeah. there like, uh, okay, <laughs> like, I'm still here <laughs> Hello. just in case you forgot. <laughs> um, so it, it all depends on the people that you're with. And I have felt like, okay, like, they wouldn't even notice when I'm gone. <laughs> I could get up and walk out. They wouldn't even know. But I've been there, and I've also been in with people that are in a relationship, and, like, they both make me feel like I am, you know, part of the conversation. Part. I was going to say relationship. That's going to be weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm a part of it. I was like, that's not right wording at all. Um, so I have, been, I have felt, you know, you know, accepted into the conversation and, and you know, it felt like I was welcome, not like a, a third wheel. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I do try to make it to the point where I don't like volunteer myself to like go with couples. Right. Okay. If I'm single, I'm not like, Hey, like, can I, can I go with that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like we're going to go do something. I'm like, all right, cool. See you later. <laughs> but I'm like, Hey, you should come. I'd be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? Like, it depends what we're doing, like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I try to put myself in awkward situations, right. basically. Um, but it, it can it can be weird uh, depending on the people, basically. And whenever I'm with somebody and I'm dating somebody and I do have a friend around, I try to make it a point to talk to them and to the point to, at some point. That, <laughs> You're ignoring your girlfriend. Yeah, I'm ignoring my girlfriend. And she's uh, been like, you ignored me all night. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I've done both, I guess. Yeah. So So what you're saying is if if I ever go out with you with my girlfriend, you're actually feeling awkward, so I shouldn't invite you? No, because I haven't <laughs> seen you again. Like you're not gonna be all over them or whatever, like so I'm good. Like you again, you might get in trouble for ignoring her. Right? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, uh, you and me have the opposite problem. So yeah, that's you... true. We're like, no, 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 no. She's like, Can we go? No, hold on, no, hold on. <laughs> I don't think you and me have that problem. We have the complete uh, opposite problem. So geez. we don't have to worry about that, buddy. Yeah. Devin, on the other hand, we might have to worry yeah. about that. <laughs> Devin's I mean, gonna be at the dinner time, <laughs> and then we're gonna be like, "Let's go, let's go." 
<laughs> you won't even know we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> like two weeks later. <laughs> Where'd you guys go? 